This video is going to demonstrate the new business targets uh, feature. Now to access this feature, you need to use a search function and you need to search for business targets. Now what this feature allows you to do is providing you've done your cost analysis, correct? And you therefore know what your daily GP target is. Using this table and Power BI, you can almost understand your net profit on a daily basis. Uh, which is an incredibly powerful tool to have uh, when you're trying to understand the way your company is performing. So to fill this table in, you first of all, you've got to do your cost analysis. That is a, uh, there's a spreadsheet that is uh, widely available online. Uh, it's my gross profit target calculator. There's a link in YouTube for it, or it's in the community, Garage Hive community forums. Fill this spreadsheet in. There's a video on YouTube which shows you how to use it. And then once you know what your daily target is this is where you'd then come to this place and you'd actually start filling in these targets now when you get to this table it's very likely to be blank and what i suggest that you do is add the first entry so you want to you can start halfway for a month or you can go back a month it doesn't really matter but simply fill in the first line so you'd need to select the location if you're multi-location you have multiple locations to choose from if you're a single location you just select one which i think is called main for now the only type is gross profit we are planning on adding more targets, but for now it is just gross profit. Then you select the date from the date picker. So select the first of the current month if you want to. It will then automatically calculate the weekday and then simply put your value in from your GP target. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and press the export button. And you, we're not going to filter. You can leave all of this blank because we're doing this for the first time. And then we're going to go ahead and press OK. And then what that will give you is a spreadsheet that looks like this and what we would have is just the first entry now for those that don't uh, know how to work with excel there's a really cool function in that you can simply select a line and then just drag the line down and i'll just show you this example so if we wanted to fill in october we could take the last few entries and simply just drag this down and then the reason we've got the weekday it built into here is because for those that are closed saturday and sunday which is very easy to find your saturdays and sundays and to actually delete the target from those days. So just go ahead and delete those targets. Then what you do, you uh, save the file. You would then, once the file's been saved, you then go back to Garage Hive, and then you select Import. And then from here, you browse the file name. So you just select uh, this option here. It'll open up Windows File Browser, and you find the Excel file that you've just saved. And then you import the Excel file back into Garage Hive, and then it will produce this list of the updated information for you. Now, once that's done, Power BI, if, if you have the latest version of Power BI, so you need to make go to the documentation website, search for Power BI, and download the latest version. The gross profit uh, report is available from version 48 onwards. So install the latest version of Power BI, refresh Power BI, and then you'll have access to a report that looks like this. So what this report is looking at is the accumulated run rate so um, month to date what is your accumulated gross profit and then what is your accru accumulated gross profit target so in the red line is the target the green line is the gross profit and then the gap in between the two is in theory your net profit on an accumulated basis so for this month this branch so far is profiting five thousand pound and that is uh, visible as the difference between these two lines then on the left hand side you have the actual net profit of the day so you can see here that this branch actually includes today so power bi has not added today's gross profit to this yet so um, this branch you can you can add 1500 to this branch hopefully by the end of today this branch has uh, made additional profit um, but basically you can say day by day you can see what your net profit is which, as I've mentioned before, is an incredibly powerful thing to actually know. What you can also do is flick between the weeks and the months as well for different views. And for those that are multi-location, you can very simply select a different branch to choose from. So that's how the GP target works. This feature is very new. Uh, it will be constantly developed. And as I said, we'll be adding more targets that you'll be able to bring directly into your own Power BI. So I look forward to feedback. And if you've got any questions, please put them on the community forum. Thank you.